Yup, let's get original crew, man. We're back. We have a video this title Scary Stuff. I don't know. I don't know what that supposed yeah. to mean. But I'm all here for some scary stuff. Are you? I am. No, you aren't. I am. You're a little shaky when it comes down to scary stuff. But with that being said, before we get into it, make sure you check out the links in the description box. It's down below. You already know where to go if you want to first support. All you have to do is check out down below. Also, if you enjoy today's visuals. Like it with a thumbs up. But let's talk, let's hop into it. Let's check I out some. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go hop ahead. into it. Check out some <laughs> scary stuff on today. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, let's get into it. Let's check it out. Let's see what it's about. Boo! It's a job application. <laughs> I used to be a scary child back in my day. Scary to look at and just a scaredy cat in general. Examples are, I would run away as fast as I can to my room after turning off the lights. Legit piss myself in my bed because I was too scared to go to the bathroom at night because what? what if a demon tries to get me? I'm not taking no chances. Some of this childhood fear still goes on me to this day. Like, I still can't sleep without some kind of light source in the room, whether that be the TV or street lights or something. Like, how do people sleep in the pitch dark? You can't see the demons in the corner of the room in the pitch black. So how do you sleep in the dark? Why you look at me? Huh? Why you look over at me? I just looked at you. I, I just like watching TV to go to sleep watching TV. I, I like for it to, to be super dark. That's boring, bro. Like, you and just... super cold. And you know, you know why? Cold That's why dark. you can't never go to sleep. Mm. Why? Because you just sit there in the dark and just your mind just be... <laughs> Just focus on the TV. Watch something that's, that's chill, calm, and relaxing. I, I bet you go to sleep. She always, I can't never go to sleep. I just laid there for two hours just being thoughts. Because you laying in a dark, quiet for <laughs> two hours. Your mind just gets to going because it's not entertained. But it's then, not, my thing it's is, not being distracted from the thoughts. If you just sitting there watching some <laughs> some some, some, some comfort and some just, just mind relaxing. But that doesn't help Something me. that's from your childhood that's just mind relaxing. I so you be looking but the it thing, don't help me. No, because, the thing is with say, you let me talk. No, because the thing <laughs> is with you and we put something on, you wanted something that's entertaining. No I'm trying to put on something that's calming and relaxing. But the, the but the way that you I are, am I find it entertaining. Yes. I will I will find it entertaining still and then I'm like, oh day. Let me fin let me go to the next episode. And then next thing I know I'm up three, four hours watching a TV show that I I didn't plan to watch. <laughs> That's your fault. I, Turn the TV yo, off. Yo, I put on. I put on. Amen. Amen was is a good show you can go to sleep to. I did. I did go to sleep. Exactly. But it wasn't because of that. It was just because then, of other things. But then you had. I had the PJs on one time. She. I was. I was enjoying the PJ. Bitch. Projects. <laughs> Looking at the PJs. She okay, like, I really like, she like, I, I was liking that. Go, uh, put it back on so I can pick up where I left off. And then I had what? Uh, what's the what's the joint with the dog? Teacher's pet. She she was oh I, I was interested. I was into that show. I'm like, bro, that's just some confidence to relax your mind, chill, well, and get you on on a chill mood so you can go to sleep. That's too. for you. That's you. And then she would sit up here and be like, I'm enjoying it, man. I really like the show. Come on. Hell, I'm trying to help you go to sleep. In the pitch dark. You can't see the demons in the corner of the room in the pitch black. So how do you sleep in the dark? You got to be real crazy to sleep like that. But going back to me being a child, I was a coward. And I also watched a lot of scary things to warrant this behavior. I remember watching the end of The Exorcist and that scared the black off of me. Like literally, I'm Mexican now. Every time I saw the goosebumps opening, it gave me nightmares. Like that dog just got possessed. And that doll episode, Did we ever finish that? how is that allowed on the TV? Show? Even someone like Mike Tyson could get scared from that. But the scariest I thing I watched as a kid was that Return to Slab episode of Curse the Cowley Dog. My God, that episode had my cheeks quivering. Like, man, just look at this. Return the slab. What? Return the slab. Oh, suffer my curse. Imagine seeing that as a six, seven-year-old kid. That that sticks with you. And even though that horrified the tidy whities off of me, 
type I feel like that was where my interest of scary shit, stuff started. Yeah, and as I grew a bit older, in middle school, I started watching all this scary information content. You know, Matthew Centoro, Mr. Nightmare, Danger Dolan, and a whole bunch of stuff like that. And I was watching on the daily. I was so immersed in these scary videos because I liked getting scared. I don't know, maybe I'm a psychopath, but it was interesting to listen to these scary facts and stories. But now, as a 19-year-old adult, I'm a kid forever. I don't find basically anything no longer scary anymore. In media. Bro, I said the ser- Hold on. I typed in a Goosebumps series. It, we finished it. But no, it won't even let you play it. Well, it doesn't matter. We finished. Because I'm trying to- no, I was just trying to click on to see if, you, if they got any new episodes. And it's just... We'll figure it out later. No, hell no. What the fuck is that? Oh. It forever. I don't find basically anything no longer scary anymore. In media, that is. Nothing is scary anymore. But I'll go on more about that later. For now, I want to talk about scary stuff from back in my middle school days and why I found them scary in the first place. Back then, before icebergs, there were top 15 chills type videos. I was addicted to these scary info YouTube videos like it was black tar heroin. Watching scary 911 calls and most likely fake horror stories was a daily occurrence for me. You know if they get the story from Reddit or if they say it's a deep web story, those stories will be faker than Iggy Azalea's ass. But me back then, and me now, would eat that up, fake or not, cause the stories were scary. Like, Llama Arts and Mr. Nightmare story times used to scare the hell out of me. They made me so afraid of the deep web and I would stay far away from it. Mainly cause I didn't want my computer to get a million different kind of STD viruses. But also, I didn't want someone watching me through my screen. I was enamored by those videos. But the ones that caught my interest the most were the weirdest videos you could find on YouTube and creepypastas. I loved creepypastas. I couldn't get enough of them. Squidward treats himself and Ben breathing were big parts of my childhood trauma. The creepiness of these stories was just so unnerving to me because I ain't never heard anything like these stories in my life. Some of these stories sounded so realistically scary that I thought half of these creepypastas were based on true stories. Like the Russian sleep experiment and gateway of the mind scared the dookie out of me. Literally, I could feel the doo doo leaking against my thighs. Lavender Town, abandoned by Disney, the expressionless candle cold would have me tweak into a horrifying extent. As a kid, listening to Lavender Town would scare me so much that after listening, I thought someone would just Come bust down my door! And those cursed YouTube videos would be even worse. Oh my goodness. Just... Obey the walrus and I feel fantastic would scare me to tears, bro. Cause videos like those, I, I legit would think they're cursed and I would die in seven days like the ring after watching them. These are the videos that would keep me up at night, leaving me in a cold sweat. But the main videos that would scare me the most were the Sunshine Girl videos. Now, if you don't remember or know who this is, the haunting of Sunshine. The haunted of Sunshine Girl. Sorry, mm. sorry. I don't know who the white folks is. Let's see. It's just a, a nice Caucasian family. Sunshine Girl videos. Now, if you don't remember or know who this is, The Haunting of Sunshine Girl was this channel that used to post these scary ghost sighting videos. Mm. And she also had this paranormal activity series where she would film the ghost sightings of her supposed haunted house. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously these videos are fake and all, but me as a kid, I was eating this up. Like, look at this. That's a real ghost. Th that's a real ghost in her Chanel. kitchen. In her kitchen. <laughs> what are you doing? Yo, you see her face? Faces aren't supposed to look like that. And she disappeared. This is as real as you can get. Now, I 100% doubt she made these videos to be perceived as real because, well, there's literally seasons of it. But me being a dumb kid, I believed everything that was shot in found Girl, footage style. I even did. remember believing the Smosh Easy Bake Oven skit. Bro, you want me to tell you what, what was what what made uh, what was made a lot of people so gullible? What's made? <laughs> yeah, we all heard that bullshit. Was when the first paranormal activity came out. Mm -hmm. Everybody thought that, but man, that shit real, bro. They said it's real. Did you believe? Be real. Did you believe? Hell no. Yeah. 
So you just say you just knew everything. So you know you so you believed it. Uh, no. What's the one with the uh people get lost in the woods? The uh They got lost in the woods. Yeah, they were out in the woods and they oh bro. They was out in the woods. Have you ever seen it before? Uh you gotta tell what you talk about. Where um, Mm. Mm. Alone? No. No, 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 no. Mm. The Blair Witch Project? Blair Witch Project, yes. Have you ever watched that? No, sir. Oh, you have never watched the Blair Witch I, Project? I don't like scary movies, so it, I would have... It's fake. I don't it's care. Fake. Most scary movies are it's fake. Just, it's just from a horrible, like, cassette tape thing. And, like, so the point of view back then. Look, 1999. Yes. I you was definitely s- watching them back in 1999. <laughs> <laughs> How old was I then? Bro, you tell me you never. How old was I in 1999? When was I born? Uh, you tell me oh, you I never watched the Blair I Witch Project? I definitely wasn't watching it at that age. What? When did you watch it? Like, look at the point of view. When did you watch it? Look at the point of view. Like, everything was on an all handheld cassette. I remember the movie. And they were out in the woods and shit. And they just started coming up missing. And everybody thought that shit was real. <laughs> just like, uh, what's, what's the joint? Snow on the bluff? Everybody like that shit was real. Oh. They, they, they getting down like that. Then come to find out that you were fake. <laughs> Uh, no, no. Oh, bro. I may watch That was shot in found footage watch style. It. I even remember myself? believing yeah. the Smosh Easy Bake Elvis skit was real for a bit. I was a very gullible kid that had a fascination of being scared and of horror topics. And I still do to this day. But it's really hard to be a fan of this genre nowadays because nothing is new and nothing is scary. Now, we're in the modern day, and I felt when I was a kid, I was engrossed with all these scary stuff because it was all new to me, stuff I ain't never heard before. But today, there are no new topics of horror to discuss other than these TikTok horror stories. People have been talking about the same stuff for years, like how many times do I have to hear about Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared and Blank Room Soup being scary? They're not scary! In fact, I used to love Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared as a kid. The story and the hidden messages used to intrigue me so much, I used to watch MatPat theories of it. And not to mention the songs were bangers, like I used to get sturdy to the clock song. And Blank Room Soup is fake. Let's just get this over with. It's fake, bro. There's four different scary videos of it, and that alone should indicate that it's an ARG. Can we stop talking about these now, for the love of Allah? I be seeing these two videos pop up in every iceberg video. Sometimes them even being near the bottom, being at level four or five. Like, why is this even in the video? And they be hyping it up like it's the scariest thing you will ever see. Like, don't hug me, I'm scared. Don't hug me, I'm scared is a video series on YouTube that used to scare the living socks off of kids living in America and Iraq. The series starred puppets doing weird things. So weird that it makes you think the puppets are real people in need of help. Rumor has it that if you watch the series three times, your father leaves you. Moving on to the bottom of the iceberg. Please don't say no stupid. <laughs> I was just gonna say they ain't scared for most people. That's their reality. Can't scare people about reality. Daddy ain't never home. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Stop ain't wrong. never home. He is always gone. His papa was a rolling stone. <laughs> Okay. Daddy's always gone. Sound like that Cause Papa was a roller stone. Hey, that that's a hit. See, that is a hit. I'm telling you. Probably back then, but not now. That's still a hit. Motherfucker, be on YouTube. Okay, man. But now, motherfucker. <laughs>
I was gonna say I, the the best way I feel like they can do like scary movies is, is kind of taking a twist off of like true crime things that actually really happen and put it in a twist of a scary style. You get what I'm saying? Stuff that didn't happen for real. If you put like start using more realistic events, mm-hmm. but made them into like a horror type feel, yeah, you would make it. Like it's not necessarily trying to. Okay, well, let please. No, I'm just saying. Speak, speaking on a situation that happened where we at now, it could be a, a situation called the roommate from hell mm-hmm. with the girl who yeah. unfortunately lost her life yeah. from with her Something roommate. Like that. But you find out your roommate she owns some whole other shit. Mm-hmm. You just both of y'all are college college student. Y'all was. That could be a fucking horror film mm-hmm. if you put a, the right twist on it, but it's something that happened for real. Mm-hmm. Or you can you can turn even what with, with Jeffrey Dump because they have done that. Yeah. Even the Jeffrey Dummer situation, you can make that into a twist that may make it into a scary movie. They mm-hmm. did it with the uh what's his name? Game Game Dude, the Game Dude. We got Texas Chainsaw Massacre with the leather face and all that. You use what use your resources. I guess I get what you're saying. What's the black phone? A lot of people don't understand the concept behind black phone. I get if what you know, saying. if you know, you know. Black phone was good, but they used a twist from something that happened for real. They just twisted it a little bit and made it. Yeah, I mean, I can go without scary movies. So I really don't care. But I'm just saying, if you use those instead of trying... But I know a lot of people love scary movies, so I mean, I I'm think, pretty sure they want something different than I think the they usual. just try too hard now. They, yeah. They try too hard they instead of... They overthink it. Yeah. reason why y'all love Criminal Minds so much is because Criminal Minds was based off true crime, things that happen for real. Love Criminal Minds. But yeah, I feel All, like, I know. Also, I feel that, like. that's what gets the money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it writes itself. SpongeBob. The Lost Episode. Like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Who above the age of five finds this scary? Half of these horror iceberg videos are the biggest waste of time because they just be copy and paste of each other with maybe something being in a different place this time. Like, none of this is new or scary. Hearing about a fake band episode of the Rugrats isn't scary. Come to think of it, most creepypastas are pretty much just fan fiction. Jeff the Killer was such a stupid one too, but it had me shivering my timbers when I first heard it. Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm growing up, but combined with no new horror content, horror movies aren't scary anymore. Like, none of them. I honestly don't remember the last time I was scared of a horror movie recently. I'm not gonna go too deep in horror movies because I low-key want to make a video on them. So I'm just gonna say, jump scares aren't scary. Or at least, it's not a real form of scary. I'm mainly talking about the forced jump scares. Force jump scares are the ones that go off when nothing even remotely scary is happening. Like a scene like this could be happening and then a jump scare happens for no reason. Hi mom, good morning. Good morning, sweetie. How was your sleep? It was fine, I guess. Uh, Mom, do you know where the cookies are? What are you talking about, sweetie? The cookies are right there on the counter. (laughs) Yeah. Something like that. Outside of all the stuff I've spoken about this whole video, there's only one (laughs) form of media that continues to consistently scare me to this day. Horror games. Not analog horror games, that shit is goofy. Horror video games are the only thing that be scaring me nowadays. And the reason why I think that's the case is because scary video games are way more immersive than any other form of horror because you're in the experience yourself. Besides those haunted houses that make you sign a waiver before you go in, I'm never going to those things. They literally torture you. When playing a horror game, as soon as it starts, you're already on edge. Because in almost every horror game, something is chasing after you as soon as you hit the start button. Then you gotta think quick. You have to accomplish the objective as fast as possible before this person or thing kills you. That's why I find horror games scary. Even in the low quality ones like Granny, I would still get scared. Even though Granny looks like garbage, but best believe when I see her when playing it, Oh, I'm freaking out! Like, she actually in my house! And I only feel this towards horror games, and I might be a pussy for thinking this, but when I play a horror game, I feel as if someone is actually chasing me, because I'm so immersed in the game when playing it. 
When I'm playing Five Nights at Freddy's, I'm checking the cameras in real life too. I can only feel this level of immersion on roller coasters too, since I'm literally spinning around 100 feet in the air. But the scariest one I've been on is specifically that 4D SpongeBob ride at Universal Studios. Why was that so scary? The pirate literally grabs you and throws you underwater. And then by the end of it, Plankton is trying to kill you. How is this for kids? And since it was 4D, water would be squirted on you and the seats would shake and it was so loud in there. Oh my God, this is honestly the scariest roller coaster I've ever been on. I I'm not even lying. You know those videos with those crazy insane roller coasters that would legit give you scoliosis? That's like a baby horse spinny ride compared to the Spongebob ride at Universal Studios. That's the two things that scare me nowadays. Horror games and sometimes roller coasters. And I guess hell too, but that's only second to Spongebob. Of course I'm scared of more stuff than that, but I'm mostly talking about stuff in entertainment that's supposed to scare you. Stuff that scare me in real life could be an entirely different video. But stuff I talked about in this video, creepypastas, horror movies, Spongebob, were all scary to me at one point, but now growing older, they mostly seem tame. And since this is about scary stuff, I want to end this on a story, on one of the scariest experiences that had ever happened to me in my life. Now before I- You got any scary experiences? Falling out in the woods? Have them find your way home? I don't know. I'm just saying, you had any? Mm -mm. I be scaring you sometimes. I didn't. Not I didn't scare her ass. <laughs> but that's not, that's not. But like, you ain't never had a scary experience? Mm-mm. Not even in your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> that's different. But you you ain't never had? I mean. Name, name one movie that like, you were literally scared about watching. Damn. But you probably don't. You... I probably don't watch. No. Watch scary stuff. You know, so I was sitting up here thinking, I'm like, I actually do watch scary things. I just <clears throat> like what? Name one. I think that um, uh, what's the what's the movie with the um, uh, uh, with the uh black man. <laughs> what's that? What's that movie? You know how many movies there are with black men. But you know what I'm talking about. You talking about the bees and all that? I was going to say the bees. Candy I said, was it bees? Candyman kind of scared me a little bit. Wow. <laughs> Which one? The new one or the old one? The old one. No, nah, you was talking about the new one. I the think new the one old... was trash, bro. I think the old one. Not trash, but it ain't. It wasn't, it wasn't trash, but I, that kind of scared me a little bit. I've always been scared. And that's why I was kind of scared to watch the newer one. Because I was like, if it's anything... I don't want to have to go through that trauma. I don't want to have to go through that. Nah, the exorcist. But, man, that's but that, that scared me. I think I went to the movies to see that. Nah, I'm talking about the old joint. You know, oh, like, you know, oh, oh, no. I ain't, ain't going to the But the newer one, I think I did go to. Were we together when that came out? No. I think I went The latest to see one that. we haven't seen yet. Even though we reacted to the trailer, we haven't oh, seen it. But, but we did see one. One of them we did. We but those the scared me. Those scared, scared the crap out of me, too. Like, they doing too much. But no. One of the scariest experiences that had ever happened to me in my life. Now, before I tell it, this is a real thing I experienced back in like late elementary or early middle school, one of the two. And I was not dreaming. This was not a dream. I was fully awake. It was a summer night like any other. Mm -hmm. Me and my brother shared a room with each other at this time. I slept in a bunk bed so the room would have more space. Everyone was asleep. I woke up in a hot sweat in the middle of the night. This happens to me a lot during the summertime, so it wasn't that out of the ordinary. Usually I go right back to sleep within the next minute or two. But I also lift my back and turn my head to look at the rest of the room, just to see and hear if anyone else was awake. But when I looked this time around, I saw something very strange. I turned my head and looked down at my room from my bunk bed, and I saw my dark room being lit up by candles that was surrounding the big chair in the middle of the room. I was very confused because my brothers were asleep, so why were the candles lit in the middle of the room? Then at the doorway of my room, someone slowly entered and oh I was God. in utter terror. <laughs> a long black haired girl in a white dress slowly entered my room. 
She basically looked identical to the girl from the ring. She walked slowly inside my room, heading towards the front of the candlelit chair. When reaching the front of the chair, she kneeled down slowly and went into a prayer position. I turned around quickly and went under my covers, sweating profusely, hoping she didn't see me. And as I hide under my covers, I remember I started to hear whispers. I couldn't understand it whatsoever. I was so afraid <laughs> that I hid under my hot cup. I can't take shit serious. <laughs> I said, Did you see what I said? I, I, said, said, I, said, I said, what they saying? What they saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Bruh, hell no. I couldn't understand it whatsoever. I was so afraid that I hid under my hot covers, not showing an inch of skin, sweating for what felt like an hour, too scared to go to sleep. The whispering soon stopped, but I was still too scared to go to sleep or leave my covers. I eventually ran out of steam and I forced myself to go to sleep, hoping she was gone. I closed my eyes and hoped for the best. You don't sleep, nigga. The next morning I woke up. I instantly turned around to get out of my covers to see if anything from last night was still there. Nothing. Nothing. No candles and no girl. It was like if they were never really there. But that night spooked me so much. I didn't tell any of my family about it until two years later when I told my mom. She just said I had a bad dream. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't a dream. I was awake the entire time. Now, as I get older, I'm starting to think maybe I was hallucinating. You know how when you first wake up, you see things like thinking a coat in your closet is a person? Mm -hmm. But I know I wasn't dreaming. And I also stared at the girl and the candles for a long enough time that it sometimes makes me doubt I was hallucinating. I don't know though. I'm kind of weirded out. Leave a comment of what you think I saw that night. Or if you have any similar experiences like I did. I'm very curious to read them. Also follow the stuff in the description. So what you think he saw that night, see? You I, know, as a kid, you I have, have a big answer. imagination. I have an answer. What you think? What he saw that night? Yeah. The back of his eyelids. <laughs> I knew you was about to say <laughs> That's that. That's all that nigga saw. I knew you was about to say he that. He saw I'm this, y'all. <laughs> That's all he saw. He saw the back of them damn eyelids. <laughs> And he, he probably woke up quick and went right back to sleep and then realized. No, nah, because I said right this. I've dreamed and thought I was woke the whole time you was drink, you were asleep. I have a lot of. You the know, other night, you I was, have a lot of dreams. The other but, day, I was like, "What the fuck?" I said, "See what you said." I was like, "What the heck?" And I couldn't even make out what you was doing. Like I do a lot of things, and I think I act out my dreams in real life. Like, if I'm saying something in my dream, I'm saying it for real, like, out loud. Like, for the people in real life to hear me. That's why I be telling you, go to, because you, then also, reason why you, you, uh, go to sleep with all this shit on your mind. Oh, God. So your mind was, ran away with me. <laughs> <laughs> it was just my imagination. But the one from the other day when you said I was doing whatever, I, I remember that one. I don't I remember. I can actually remember that I one. I honestly still don't even remember what the hell you was doing. I just, I was asleep. You, mm -hmm. you got out my nerves doing whatever the fuck you was doing. I said, you got to wake the hell up now. <laughs> I said, because you over here doing whatever you doing. And I said, bro, hey, you was loud. But y'all spam us up, man. Let us know if y'all have any scary encounters in the comment section down below. But as always, y'all know how it go, man. I had to go with the name DJ and get it in. We are. We are. Go and get it. Ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my folks. Dollar, 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 dollar.